Okay, so Sean Webb here again, 3D Golf Pro, and today we're going to talk about something I get a lot of questions about um, during lessons and, and a lot of questions um, through email is X Factor. You know, what is it? And people think it's a lot of different things and they have ideas about uh, what they're trying to do with X Factor and, and um, a lot of times it's, it's hurting their swing. So. Let's talk about what it is. Basically, it's just the difference between the upper body and lower body rotation. Um, these two lines here on gears are representative of basically shoulder rotation and, and hip rotation in layman's terms. So at a dress, this golfer, most good players are, there's really no difference between them. Negative one point through, so basically he, he's got his pelvis and his hips pretty square to the target line. Now, as he goes back, you're gonna see the upper body start to wind against the lower, so at the top of his swing, he's got a 65 degree X factor. So um, he turns his upper body uh, more than you would, more than 90 degrees. He's got it um, turned to a point where he's got a 65 degree difference. Now, a lot of people, a lot of golfers have the, have the mindset that they need to fire the hips and leave the upper body back. Uh, they've been taught to fire the hips at some point and and not bring the upper body with it, but that's not the case. What happens is you're going to see a little increase in transition where the hips start a fraction early. So he goes from 63, 64, 65, 65.7, and then you start to see that angle reduce all the way down to the ball where you're at 31 difference. So. They do not, you do not keep the same X factor all the way down. You have to, uh, the term I use is close the gap. So you have to close this gap down at some point and rotate the chest, which brings the club around, helps square the club face, uh, helps with consistency of uh, starting line. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna hang this chest back here and then the arms would continue to sling past you. So I hope that helps. I know a lot of people that I have in lessons think they need to really spin the hips and keep the upper body back and it drops the spine to the right and then they end up having to either sling the arms past them they hit a hook or they block it to the right so start closing the gap here from the top and I think that's going to help so I hope that clears up your understanding of what um, x-factor is